Chris Paul is the uh, uh, the biggest thing about him is he's the son of a football coach. His dad is the middle school head football coach, and this kid has been around football his entire life. He's six one two thirty five. He can run. He's got about seventeen, eighteen, nineteen offers. Uh, schools like Tennessee. He was committed to Nebraska. Decommitted from them on June the eighteenth, so just a few days ago. The biggest thing, Tara, is. He's just—he's a football player. He's a linebacker. He knows football inside and out. Like I said, I'll tell you a little interesting story. He was on the sideline when he was in junior high. His team was playing Jimmy Smith. The, uh, the running back coach I thought was coaching high school then. The head coach at another school. They were playing a championship game, and 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 Chris Christopher was the ball boy against Jimmy Smith's team. You know, <laughs> he was uh, just a. Uh, Young guy then he wasn't old enough to play, but but he was he was but what I'm saying he's been around football. You know he was a ball boy and uh, he but he's he's just he, he's grown from sideline to sideline. He was the state runner up in 3A last year, went 11 four, but uh, he's just got a lot of offers. Brings a lot to the table. Six one two thirty five. I tell you who he reminds me of because he also plays some running back, catch balls. He reminds me a lot of Scooter coming out of high school. When Scooter came out of high school, people forget that Alabama offered him actually as a running back. And Scooter is a, was about that size. Was about that size. So this is who this kid kind of reminds me of. He's got a lot of the same traits that, that uh, Scooter has. And he's a good leader, too. So I think Arkansas got a good one there. So he's one of – I think he's he's like the second linebacker commit, though, for Arkansas? <laughs> Yeah, he joins Marco Avant from Jonesboro, who committed oh a few months ago, and is kind of six three two twelve. Marco and he are the two linebackers. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they take a third one. They could very well do that, but uh, they're on some older players and at that position too. But uh, I think a lot depends on how the season unfolds. They signed a lot of linebackers last year's class, so we'll see how the how some of the some of these needs here will be filled later based on some needs when they get to play it. And, you know, who actually – you always are surprised. And that's why you start seeing them maybe go for – all schools go for JUCO or grad transfers in certain positions later on when they see a need that maybe they don't see as a need right now. Those It's kind of like it, – I like it comes to the forefront when you play games. You you start seeing, hmm, I needed, I have a need there that I didn't think I had. It, invariably, it happens every year to every team.